I went ahead and applied our Formula One on the roots and then I kind of just melted it down with my finger on the ends. So the ends is a 9BL and 9VL permanent toner with Jacqueline Pro with the envelope line. And the roots, I mixed a 6B and I added it to our formula that we used in between her, for, in, in between her foils. So 6B is on her roots to counteract the warmth that her hair naturally does. So I melted that down into the formula too. So now I'm going to show you how I applied it and how I did it. So this is the, the brightness that we have around her face. So I don't want to take that away from her. So and I don't want to take away like that brightness here. So what I'm going to do is do a teardrop um, situation. So what I'm going to do is basically just melt it down from here. So I'm going to take my Formula One into Zone One and I'm going to angle it. So everything is going to be at an angle instead of horizontal. So everything I'm going to lay is literally going to be like this. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm not touching the top part. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just take this front section that's bright out and leave that there. So I'm going to go in here and just hit zone one. So then I'm going to take these sections vertical and I'm going to take them back. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I have color on this part and then make sure I have color on this part. So when I do this, I'm just going to apply at a vertical, pull it like that, and then I'm going to take my formula two, and I'm going to apply it on where her blonde is really blonde. I'm just going to put it all the way down, and then I'm just going to marry those sections together. Okay? So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to apply it like this. I'm going to take my vertical. I'm going to apply it here first, then I'm going to apply it over here. That way any tones that she has naturally, like she has just naturally golden tones, that I'm just going to make sure that I'm just melting those down with that 6B. Because remember she wants kind of like that, that smoky kind of like dark root. So I'm just going to take my hand and just melt that down. Then I'm going to take this at the part where we remember that transition point that we did. I'm going to just hit it like that where we did first, saturate that, and I'm just going to take it and then just glide up the strand. Okay, so we're leaving that bright part out. So I'm going to take another vertical. I'm just going to melt it down. You want to make sure that your section is not too big that you can't get in there and melt that down. So I'm angling my brush to kind of melt some of those baby lights that we did. But I don't want to take them away because around her face we want them to be higher. So then I'm going to take this formula 2 and put that everywhere on the ends. Okay, so then we're going to do the same thing here. I'm going to leave this out so it can be bright around her face. So I'm just going to make sure that this section is brushed out and pulled out and then I'm just going to hit it so we can melt it. And again, I'm doing everything at an angle. So that way I'm getting a really good higher, lighter here, darker here, okay? So what we're gonna do here around the face is I'm just gonna take where her little lighter pieces are and I'm gonna put a formula two and I'm just going to use that to kind of spread it out because I do not want to darken her too much right here. But she wants a little bit of a shadow there. So 
I'm going to go in and just hit it very lightly. Just tap it. And then I'm going to angle it down. And then that's it. So I'm going to do that on the next piece. Because I don't want to darken her too much around her face. So I'm not applying any more of this ends. I'm just hitting it where it's saturated enough. And then I'm just going to tap. Tap. And that's it for that. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. And then we'll come back with the finish and show you.